What's going on, Tiger Tran Clan? Today we're coming at you with some more Kenshi. And we have visitors to our abode, as well as I've been building some stuff off camera, just doing some house cleaning, kind of esque things, making that dojo. So let's take a look at our caravan. Ho oh, there, Townie. This is a nomad trader. I have animals for sale. Carry your stuff for you. Fight alongside you. Make a good meal, they do. Hmm. I wonder if you can breed them. And this is kind of one of the reasons I'm doing this is because I'm very interested to know what the animal mechanics are in general. Show me what you have. Okay. So we're sitting on 14K right now, almost 15. So I, what I want to do is I want to get a female and male pack beast. So it looks like she only sells pups. Okay. He also said bone dogs were amazing, but it doesn't look like this person's selling any bone dogs. Oh, wait, no, it's a goat. <laughs> I was wondering, can you raise goats for food? They said you could eat them. I, I don't know how that works, but they only have female goats, so... I guess if we want to figure that out, we'll have to do it in the future. Alright, let's look at the stats... So age pup twenty nine. Is that twenty nine like months? Because you see how there's he's drastically or she's drastically more expensive. Hmm. I mean I don't mind grabbing them as wee tykes. We definitely need to get some backpacks for them before we go on our adventures anyways. So let's just grab the most affordable ones. Since we... I haven't found a place to to get Pack Beast backpacks. I know the Holy City has them from my previous playthrough. But I haven't found them in the swamp nor in the Shek villages. So that'll have to be a special trip. If I had a male and a female goat, I would totally grab them and hope that you could mate them. What I'm hoping is you can mate these Pack Beasts. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so this was uh, this was the female, right? Yeah, the male has like a bunch of bones and stuff on him. Garu, pack beast. Mm. <laughs> I have this thing. I used to always do this. So my wife's name is Kristen, and I used to always name my pets in WoW Kristen Jr. And then. So, so in WoW, you could have multiple pets. So it was like Kristen Jr., Kristen Jr., Jr. <laughs> and they'd be like snakes and scorpions and stuff. They always troll, and it just made me laugh. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is because we got two. So we'll have Kristen Jr., because this one's female. And this eye's going to be Leroy <laughs> Jenkins. Bam. All right, so I wonder how this is all going to play out. Oh, look, they actually joined my fighter's crew. Ooh, they actually have some solid health, right? Head. Head needs a bandage, but it's not urgent. Wait, what? You got full HP. What you talking about? What you talking about, Willits? But I wonder... Ooh, wait, what? Kristen Jr.'s got katana skills? Where's her opposable thumbs, man? Or do you just, like, strap the katanas to her back? It looks like they come with backpacks, but maybe there's even more Gozu level ones that you can get. But it does look like martial arts skill, dodge, melee. Okay. You know, these starting stats, do you have field medic? How does this work? <laughs> can they actually use medkits? Can they actually do jobs? Hmm. Well, this is part of the fun of the game. I, I wonder if they can. I mean, I don't know what I would have them do per se. For, but let's let's check Kristen Jr.'s inventory. Oh, so she came with a bull's backpack already. So encumbrance reduction, 90%. Holy cow. All right, well, Leroy Jenkins. Oh, no, that's Leroy. What about Kristen? Why can't I click you? Oh, because Kristen's behind you. Oh, they both came with backpacks. Very cool. I'm loving it, man. All right, let's unpause this, and let's take him in the doors. So I wanted to show you the new base that we've been operating as at as well. So I, as I told you, I wanted to create a killer choke point, and I've been starting to do it. It's not yet complete, but what we did was we extended the walls out. It's kind of funny how 
I made these walls extra high because I wanted to have a really clear vantage point at shooting, you know, baddies as they're coming through this front gate. But I also wanted them to be able to shoot over this lower gate that I needed to create this secondary choke point with. So that's why this wall, if you see, like this is the standard height of a wall, but this one I made almost as, I think this is as tall as they can go. But because of the fact that I made this so tall, for this to connect to this smaller wall here, they had to like go at this janky crazy angle, which, uh, hey, early access, I don't know, not that big of a deal. But now we've got even another set of gates for defense, and this is huge, so we can... What I, you know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm always gonna keep this one closed. I opened it for the caravan, but now we have so many levels of defense, so we can place them here. I've been putting my bows predominantly here. I wanted them to build it, so that way, because if they're on these probably four bows right here, they probably can shoot here and here without me having to reposition them. So what we'll do is we'll have them bow shank fools until they blow this gate up, then they'll crash into here. We have a ton of bows here. Uh, when they break that gate in, then we'll have them fall back, and then we'll basically get on this high ground. What? Okay. For a second, I thought these were banditos, but they're just the nomads. Okay. I was like, how did these guys get in my base? The doors have barely been open. Made me think there was a hole, but I was like, no. These gotta be the bromads. Cool, cool, cool. All right, man. Now, now let's see. Can I make you farm? No. Wait, can I make you medic? No. Can I make you rescue? No. I'm doubting you can prospect. Oh, you can put them on passive. You know, I'm going to take them off passive because I don't mind these guys brawling. They're going to be part of my brawling crew. Oh, look at Leroy. He must be even younger. Hmm. I'll probably have to give them food. I don't know what they eat. I'm assuming they can eat anything. Yeah, they got hunger. Hmm. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll take Kristen and Leroy. And we're just going to put them in the back for now. Ooh. Kristen's got some legs, dude. Can can I just bring, like, can, oh, Kristen probably can't talk to people, right? But what I'm wondering is, can I take Kristen, load her up with a bunch of goods, have her roll out with Quan or Sun, and then have them just sell, like, a buku load of, of gear? Because look at her, man. Kristen, she got some sprinting legs on her. Athleticism 20. Well, I'm going to test the theory. Oh, I just don't want her getting ganked. But look at how much gear we can throw on her. Oh, man. These are going to be some big paydays. All right. She's still lightweight. That's good. I'm, I want to... What I really want to do is actually load her up as much as possible and just have her, like, run around in base a little bit while Quan gets back. Let's go. Yeah, because she's moderate right now. All right, bop over here for me. Because I know Goku's been crafting up like a beast as well. Ooh, oh, that's such a bummer. The bag is just narrow enough to where you can't put in a third row of swords. Not a huge deal, but I wish I, I wish I could have had it. It'd have been so juicy. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing with our boy Leroy. Because, once again, I just want them to get their strength up right now. So that way they can carry more weight and still be able to move at a faster speed. But then this will also increase their ability just to be effective in combat. Yeah, dude. We got so much loot. Love it. Yeah, crafting is just such a good way. Oh. I just realized that we have been crafting these headdresses like crazy because they take very little materials and they se they sell the best as well. So let's get Kristen in here and load them up. And we, we're starting to actually get to the point to where we're making not just terrible grade. I mean, we obviously start off making shoddy because we had to get our, our weapon skill up or our armor skill up. But Emeretta's cranking, dude. Let's, let's check out her stats right now. Yeah, yeah, 63! So the quality of armor that she can make, you see over there on the left, it says high. But soon she'll be able to make, and she'll probably occasionally make masterpiece armor, which is going to be huge. And the reason I'm getting the skill up now is we're trying to, we're going to go and eventually, and it's going to be soon, I'm, I'm guessing in, well, I really wanted to make some higher quality sabers. 
before we rolled out, but we have just been getting so unlucky. I just don't know what is going on, but we cannot for the life of us. Oh, Sun's back. Cool. You know what's great about Sun is she got some baller backpacks for us. These combat-esque ones. So I am going to open this gate, and it's okay if they leave. Not a big deal. Later, Gators. I really wish we could sell to them as well, like items. But not the case. All right, so we're going to give Tiger a backpack. And then we're going to give the Giant a backpack as well. And then King. You know, now that I think about it, we probably should be putting a big backpack on you. And a mini backpack on Kang. Cool. Perfect. All right, so now we're actually getting some backpacks, getting them online for our warriors who will be picking up stuff when we go on an adventure, which will be huge. I'm actually really excited to go to the ruins, but I do know that I have to bring a bunch of fabric, a bunch of building supplies with us, so that way we can have a base to where we can heal and stay safe so we're also going to bring a bunch of plates with us so we can build some crossbows on top of it so when we get too injured we have a place to retreat to people can lay down people can rest the n most non-injured people will man those those turrets because now that we have people with turret skill up in the 60s they do straight up work and that'll be really good for us just in case we get zerged over and over and over again and you know kenshi is all about zerging your face 24 7 so oh something else we were doing as well is we were building a ton of farms because when we go out an adventure one of the major stop gaps is going to be are we going to have enough food so i went ahead and i built four more rice patties a bunch of extra cacti and then even more cacti out here just because cacti is great, man. I don't even think you need... I don't think you even need to give them... Or maybe you do. Maybe it's just water. Yes, you do have to give them water. Otherwise, they only grow at 10% speed. So all it takes is water, and you get a free food source that is easily cookable. And that can be made into our specialized sandwiches. And we're making we're making headway here. Look at it. We got... Uh, it's starting to get, like, an overflow of food, which is fantastico. That's going to be really big. I remember when I went on a pretty epic adventure and one of my prior playthroughs, food was an issue. Just because you're adventuring across the world, obviously people are going to get hungry. And I think I ended up having to like buy food as I was adventuring around, but I was picking up good loot. Because as you're going to the runes, you're going to find weapons, extra components, all that good stuff. But I'm really pumped to have uh, Kristen Jr. and Leroy Jenkins <laughs> to... Uh, to be able to carry stuff for us. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got to have these guys, like, running around, getting their stats up. I, I wish... Is there a way? Can you have them, like... There's no patrol button in this game. That'd be amazing if there was, but... They're so heavy right now. They're pretty slow. I want to get Kristen Jr. Ah, I just don't know if they'll attack them or not. But we're going to have them kind of just move back and forth, get their strength up, they get their athleticism up. So that way they can go and sell pretty well. But I do know that Sun got back. Yeah, and Sun's got that giant backpack. Oh yeah, our boy Quan got back as well. So let's swing up here. I bought some more of these books. These research books, the basic ones. Because I was starting to think, okay, let's get training dummies online. Because we are getting some noob warriors. And they're like immense noobs. You know what I mean? They're base stat noobs. So what I was thinking about doing was getting these advanced training dummies because this allows you to at least get your attack skill up so that way they can, well, do some solid damage. Hmm, turret training. Might as well go for this as well. Heavy weapons we'll go for because we might actually have to have that unlocked before we can start to... Okay, cool. We might need to have that going before we can start to maybe potentially make those sabers. All right, Kristen Jr., Leroy Jenkins. 
You know, I don't know. Now, the question is, how dangerous would it be just to have these guys go on a mission by themselves? I'm thinking probably terrible. <laughs> I think it would be really, really bad just because they're so slow. I know to get to this outpost here, there's definitely a bandit camp in between us to the way station. There's like one right around here, I think. And, but maybe to get to Shark. Gosh, you know, there, you know, there's always random junk out there. I just don't know. It's like basically it's like the we'd have we'd run into bad luck if they ran into if they ran into swamp bandits or anything along those lines. But how are they going? Oh yeah, look, her athleticism. Oh wait, no, is that Leroy's? What was Leroy's at at the beginning? I know Kristen's was at 20. I was I was hoping that it had gone up already. Athletic experience, 46%. Strength experience, 25%. Okay. Interesting. But man, that is so much loot. Could you imagine if we get... If we could get Kristen Jr. to the Swamp City in the morning, that would be absolutely huge. We could make so much coin. And there's a lot of shops in that little village. That could be gigantic for us. I'd love to get... Well... And I think what we'll do is we'll have Sun continue to keep picking up those ninja backpacks for us, which will be really good. I do want to grab a human, and I do want that human to go to the Holy Empire. I'm guessing maybe Vegeta? Yeah, see, this is so great. There's Now they're considered lightweight, even though they have they like these heavy armor, because they've been doing work in their heavy armor. So this, this is, helps us kind of move on up in the world and be less noobs. But man, now we are so safe. You know, it's been a long time since I've been attacked by raptors. Not that long, but maybe it's because I'm used to getting Zerg by like 20 raptors over and over and over and over again. But I've actually not seen that many. And maybe it's because, well, we're killing them and many of them aren't running away and getting away. I don't know if also the bandit spawns are increasing and maybe the raptors attack the bandits at some point. I'm not 100% sure about that because I did see I did see like a raptor camp get destroyed. Maybe they got attacked by the bugs. I'm not 100% sure. But I but we do have buku loads of hemp, which now we've been starting to make a lot of medical supplies. We've got Quan and we've got Tiger on that mission. Let's see, Quan. For some reason, they will not take out these sleeping bags for some reason i i don't know why but we've been really building a lot of sleeping bags so that we do have some easy beds to maybe throw down if we get into a pinch but now yeah especially since you know you lose like beds are not portable but we also have been creating a lot of splint kits because with splint kits you can splint a limb when I used them before, it was kind of a little bit buggy. I don't know if they fixed it, but I think what ends up happening is, like, if you have a limb in the negatives, I think you can still use it. But I, when I was playing initially, it was always super buggy, and I was I would be like, split this guy's broken arm, and they'd be like, uh, maybe? <laughs> and maybe they were doing it, and maybe the tooltips are just bad, and maybe they were using the limb, but it was still crippled. Not exactly sure how that all works, but we also have a ton of iron plate per production online this is what we've been doing with this this uh our warrior squad just doing that dumb labor getting their strength up by hauling heavy plates and stuff along those lines at the end of the day we probably will need to get some more people on we'll probably need to get some more people on dumb labor in the future i, I ain't calling it dumb labor but manual labor in the future just because that will kind of probably be a little bit of a I mean, our, none of our cacti are done here but that'll be kind of a stopgap for us from a production perspective i would imagine that they would run out of plates to make the swords all right well go do a job right now while we wait Very cool. Man, I just love the fact that we have this great concave choke point for them that we can shoot them very effectively as they're coming through this first gate. And then once they, you know, t 
toddle our way through here. We have tons of bows with a lot of clear line of sight on them, which will be gigantic. Then we have this great fallback base, which to be honest, hmm. You know, maybe if I can figure out how to make these walls potentially not jankified, maybe we could put some crossbows on here, which would be nice. I just, I mean, that just bums me out that I had to do this weird staggering thing just because it's kind of a... I don't know why it's a little bit buggy putting these walls around here, but it'd be great if I could actually put a tier 2 wall across here and then have a ramp here. That would be pretty gigantic. Just because I'm thinking, would it be faster if they could just literally run across these walls instead of having to, like, come off of these bows, run into this building, and then up these stairs, and then to these bows? I'm thinking from just, like, a time perspective. It, it would just be faster for them to be like, oh, okay, these guys can't hit, right? So these guys fall back over here. And then, you know, once again, this wall starts to fall. The ones who can't hit just run over, you know, to here. Hmm. That might be the play. I do love this little... I mean, we it's not like we need to destroy this by any stretch of the imagination. Because if they ever do break through this gate, we could just use this as our major fallback position. But man, ooh, what is this? Are these traders? The Western Hive. Oh, this is dope. All right, let's see if... Can, can Kristen Jr. talk to people? Where's the seller person? Probably not. All right, let's get Leroy out here. Yeah, they can't. That makes sense, though. I mean, it makes sense that beasts can't talk to people. Because it's this bro. Let's just double check. All right, good. I, I'm, I'm happy they did that. If Beast could talk to people, that would be kind of buggy. Let's be honest. Let's be wrong. All right, you guys making it? D-Roy, Kristen? All right. Yeah, cool. Splints. So it can be used to rig up a wound. Okay, let's uh, let him chill here for a second. We're going to take off jobs. Because I want K10 just to be a little bit closer. To be honest, I I highly doubt that they'll be able to take on all the goods that we have. Let me see your supplies. Okay. Ooh. I don't think we need any more research books. Do we buy food? Probably not. Well, maybe we do. I mean, he's got 10K. That's, that's a sizable amount of coin. So let's get K10 over here. These are really not that, not heavy at all. I'm just wondering if we sell some of the more shoddy stuff first. Because I know these ones. Let's just sell. I mean, this is... cool that those hats sell relatively well these are bandanas you know because we have so much stuff just to sell in general i will pick up all of the food med kits we don't really need we can craft those now we don't really need any more research books or do we let's just grab 10 doesn't hurt because we still have buku stuff to sell Oh, look at this, man. We're actually a merchant society. This is so great. We have, we have good, two good swordsmiths. We have two armor crafters. Look at that. All right. Let's just grab the rest of these books. Mostly because, I mean, we could just research stuff to research stuff. Doesn't hurt. And then Leroy Jenkins. Got some shoddy stuff that you can maybe squeeze out to this dude. Out of trade range. Oh. Get a little closer now to me. Bam. Look at all this delicious loot. We got tons of food. This is awesome. Well, the question is, is there anything? Oh. Why not buy iron plates, right? Like. Like, why not? I mean, we need them. We've got tons of stuff to sell. Make some more room here. No, this is a terrible way to organize things. I can't get my, my pipes in here. All right. 
Bam. Bam. Building supplies we definitely don't need because we just auto farm those things now. Now that we can get, like, all we need to do is have one person mining stone, and then if they put it in, they mat, like, we have automated building blocks, building materials set up, so. Dang, dude, I love it. Oh, this is so glorious, and if we get a high-tech book, ooh, it's going to be so spicy, because then we can make the first thing I'll, up, uh, I'll research are probably high-grade weapon crafting and high-grade weapon crafting. So that way we can start really making our guys some beefy gear. And then we'll probably go... I don't know where we'll go after that. I definitely know we want those. Then we'll buy this. I can't sell standards because they are worth too much. Look at this. Mmm. So delectable. I love it. Oh, I love these caravans, man. They make me so happy. Cool, man. Now we have, like, a ton of stuff to sell. Now if we get Leroy and, and K-10 back in here and we just have them haul headdresses, those things are relatively light. I think it, they'll still have that. Look how, look how fast K-10 is, man. Leroy is really goating it up. But I think it's because he's got so many plates on him. So let us blam, blam, blam. And then also, we'll get rid of this. Cool. Man, woo! Feeling good, boys and girls. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is a good day to be the Tiger Tran clan. It's awesome. Now we have so much infrastructure. We have so much more food coming online. We have a bunch of farmers. So once the farms actually do pop up, we'll be able to... Just have them farm it exponentially quickly. We're getting a surplus of food, which is huge. We need it so that way we can actually survive in the wastelands when half of our force is literally like a mobile, you know, army for the most part, 15 people. It's going to be amazing. But this is straight up turned into Attack on Titan style, dude. But we got some super awesome walls. I'm excited to actually get ganked. Not ganked, but having... Uh, banditos or the cannibals come and try to flex on us dude i'd be down for it bring it on we're turning into our own nation because at some point i i just realized we do want to attack the holy nation at some point in the future but i was thinking we could take over the slaver base for fun i don't know exactly how that all works i mean i want to talk to the slavers i mean the slavers hate us and we're wearing their gear so they'll probably just aggro on us but i'm, I'm kind of interested to know if there's like a leader of those the slavers or anything along those lines so if we can find their home base that would be really cool all right guys if you enjoyed the video please like and comment and if you're new hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys next time